The blower motor on your PD Cruiser has four fan speeds. One, two, three, four. Same with the heater blower motor. One, two, three, four. Now, if your blower motor only runs on your maximum speed, that means you need to replace the blower resistor on your vehicle. So let's do that today. Hello and welcome to How to Helen, where you learn something different every day. In this episode, we will be replacing the blower motor resistor of this 2002 Chrysler PT Cruiser. This blower motor resistor is located here on the passenger side under the cowl behind the firewall. So we need to remove the cowl to access it. To remove the cowl, supposedly you have three screws on top of the cowl. So if you still have those three, just start removing them by holding at the bottom the base of the screw, then taking out the screw from the top. Take out the screw and take out the plastic grommet that holds it in place. From this angle, there's another screw on the side. So use your screwdriver to unscrew it and use a flathead screwdriver to hold the grommet in place and push out the screw because sometimes they're a little hard and tricky to take out. Slightly on top, there's a rubber stopper that holds the cowl in place. So take that out just by sliding it off. Be gentle with it. And you might need a flat head to help you push it out. Now let's remove the cowl. If the rubber molding is not stuck in place, you can remove it so it is easier to remove the hull. Then just wiggle it out. And your motor blow resistor is over here. There. So here is your blower motor resistor. Now I'm going to try to use a flathead screwdriver to take it out. So here it is. Now on the connector, you have the red security tab. You just have to push it out to release the connector security tab. Mine seems to have melted, so it's very soft. So just be very careful when taking it off. There you go. Finally, it released. So now press down on your connector to release. It didn't release completely, so push it out a little more. If the connector is stuck, just press WD-40 around it to release it from the blower motor resistor. Gently. And there you go. Oh, as you can see, that blower resistor actually broke off. That's why it wasn't blowing in different settings or speeds. 
Also, if you find something like this, as you can see the rubber cover for the wire is broken off, make sure you clean it up and cover it because this can potentially be shorting out your vehicle or causing a drain on your battery. So that's something new that we can add on this video. So I don't know how to show how to remove this, but I'm just going to try to pull it off. If it doesn't work, then oh well, guess we have to buy a new connector. Let's spray some more WD-40 and let's hope that we can pull off the broken part easily. Twelve seconds later. Actually, I know what to do. I just hope this part cooperates with me today. So you can actually release this whole connector with a pick tool. You just have to pull this off. Then it should move forward out of the connector. Then we can clean this off, this part that broke off. So let's see if it works. So with a pick tool, I'm just going to push this out of position. Not injure ourselves. Move that side. Let's do the other side. Again, when you do this, be careful. I don't want people getting injured with what I am showing on camera right now. So that's, I guess, a disclaimer. Be careful with what you're doing. There, as you saw, it came out from the connector. You just have to be very gentle with it. My suggestion, if this happened to you, just buy a new connector because this is kind of dangerous already. Okay, with that out, let's hope we can pull off that broken connector on the old blower resistor. Yay, we got it off. So that's an extra something that you learn different today. Let's put this back on. Hopefully it's not too damaged. Now let's put the new resistor in, then test it inside the cabin first. Make sure that it works because there are possibilities that this might not also work, this part. So let's connect it, then test it first. Who knows, maybe it's just this one connector that's broken. All right, let's test, test it inside the cabin first. So this is the best thing I can think of to show you that it is working. So I put a tissue on one of the blowers. Now when I turn it on, see on number one, it's starting to blow. Number two, number three, number four. Same on the other side when it, you have the AC on. Number one. Don't blow away, don't blow away. Number two. And number three. Oops. So as you can see, it is working now. Now that we were able to determine that the new blower motor resistor is working properly, we can now put it in location and put everything back in place. Just follow the procedure in the reverse order. And that is how you replace the blower motor resistor of a 2002 Chrysler PT Cruiser. And also how to disassemble the connector. This has been another episode of How to Helen. My name's Arja and thank you for watching.